Greetings gamers, my name is Swag, Community Manager at Frog Sir America, and today I am going to be showing you how to add stats to a piece of equipment using the Arcane Transmuter. Now, in order to access the Arcane Transmuter, you can come down here to this icon, or you can simply press B on your keyboard. When you look at these icons down here at the bottom of your backpack, you'll see the second one from the left says Open Arcane Transmuter, and if we click on it, it opens it up here, and you can see what the Arcane Transmuter is. Now, how you use it, that is something that is a little bit more complicated. So today, I'm going to take you step by step on how to max out the stats on a piece of equipment. So right now, we are going to be looking to add stats to this piece of equipment right here, the Cavern Gloves of the Destroyer. Now, you can see, if you look down here, that it says Inquisition 9 on it. That means that this piece of equipment already has one stat already on it. Now you can add up to six stats on any piece of equipment that you have. So before we can actually do anything with the arcane transmitter, we have to get arcane transmitter charges because anytime that we do anything with an arcane transmitter, it will, re will require one charge per use. So now we're going to come up to the item shop and if you look on the left hand side of the navigation bar under consumables and then you click on must haves you can see right here that we have 10 arcane transmitter charges so after i purchase my charges i can come into my item shop backpack and if i right click on that orb and i go back to the transmitter you can see i now have 20 charges in there i can go ahead and add even more and you can see now I have 30 charges in there. So that's how you add charges to the Arcane Transmuter. Okay, so now here comes the next part. We need to choose which stats we actually want to add to this piece of equipment. Now, in order to do that, you need to create a Mana Stone. And the easiest way to get stats that you want is from equipment that already exists. Now, let me explain. I am right next to this NPC, Nabod Klein, in the central district of the city of Delanus. Now this is a vendor that sells different pieces of equipment that each have one stat on them. So you can see these Fearless Armor Boots have Pioneer 7 on them. Uh, this Fearless Armor Belt has Mage 7. Uh, this Razor 7 uh, on there. So all these different pieces of equipment have one stat on them, which is good because we're going to be looking to add several different stats onto this piece of equipment. So as I mentioned before, I can add up to six stats on any piece of equipment. Now, my Cavern Gloves already have one stat on them, that Inquisition 9, so I'm just going to go ahead and buy five different pieces of equipment here that I am going to add onto my specific, specific piece of gear. Now, in order for me to be able to use these five pieces of equipment to add the stat to my gloves, I need to have a purified fusion stone for each one of these in order to make it a mana stone in order to be put the stat on. So let's come up to the item shop. And if I go to the left hand side and click on upgrading, I can come down to must haves. And you can see right here we have purified fusion stone. Now, you need a purified fusion stone for each one of these pieces of equipment. So I need to purchase five purified fusion stones. So it's one, two, three, four, five purified fusion stones. Okay, let's open up our item shop backpack. And now you can see I have a whole bunch of purified fusion stones in here. Now let's open the arcane transmuter again. And let's turn this equipment into a mana stone. So I'm going to take and drag this piece of equipment over here. And then I'm also going to drag in here with it a purified fusion stone. And now you can see in the preview it says mana stone tier 4. And you can see that it has that pioneer 7 on there. You always want to make sure you check the preview to make sure that you're getting exactly what the stat that you want. So now that I make sure I know what I want, I simply click on confirm. And now I have a Mana Stone Tier 4. Now, I don't need this just yet, so I'm going to take it and drag it back over here for now. And we are going to, to duplicate the process for each of these other five pieces of gear. All right, I now have the five Mana Stones that I need in order to add a stat to a piece of gear. I also want to make a mention at this point that whenever you're adding stats like this, you want to make sure that all of the Mana Stones are of the same tier, or this will not work properly. So you'll see all of these say Tier 4, so they will all work together. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gloves of the destroyer and drop them in the arcane transmuter. And then I'm going to drag over three mana stones. And now you can see if I look at the preview that those three stats are going to be added to that piece of equipment. So you see I have Mage 7, Break 7, and Pioneer 7 are all going to be added onto that piece of equipment. So let's go ahead and click confirm. And there we go. We have our cabin gloves of the destroyer that now have four stats on it. Now, as you'll as you'll remember, as I mentioned before, that you can add up to six stats on here. So let's go ahead and add the remaining ones. Okay, so now you guys see that I have four out of these six stats that I can add onto this piece of equipment, and I need to get these other two on there somehow. So what I'm going to do is double up on one of these pieces of uh, gear. So as long as I have at least two of the exact same one that I'm using in the Arcane Transmuter, then it will only transfer once. So... Uh, in layman's terms, let's just go ahead and uh, come back to the uh, Black Codex NPC again. So, uh, Razor 7, I need to come and find the piece of equipment that has Razor 7 on it, which is right here, the Fearless Chainmail Glove, so I'm going to buy another piece of equipment right there. Again, open the Arcane Transmuter, drag it in there, uh, along with a Purified Fusion Stone. Uh, and again, make sure that we're getting the same stone we want. Tier 4, Razor 7, looks good, so let's confirm that. Alright, so now I can drag my other stone with Razor 7 and Slaughter 7 on there. You can see the preview, it just gives me two stats this time. So now I can bring my piece of equipment over here, preview it, and now, you can, as you can see, I have all six of the stats that I want on this piece of equipment. So I click on Confirm. And there you go, guys. That is how you add some awesome stats to your pieces of equipment. And again, this can be duplicated for just about every piece of equipment that your character can have. So every single one of these pieces of equipment I have, you can do this uh, same process with, and uh, you can just get one powerful character. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and in future videos, I'll teach you how to tier an item and how to make other runes. Catch you later.